Okay, John, so we've got this fancy virtual computer with all this fancy virtual hardware. How do I make it actually talk to the real world? How do I get it to talk over Ethernet? Well, let's have a look. Right now I'm in the virtual machine, and I'm going to have a look at the network connections that it's, avail that it's aware of. So we see one local area uh, connection here. And if I look at, go up to VM settings, that corresponds to this network adapter here. And I'll come back to that in a moment. When I'm trying to connect this, this virtual machine thinks this is a real network connection, but it's not actually a real network connection. It's, it's connected to what we call a virtual network and uh, for obvious reasons, right? The virtual networks that are on this machine, if I go to edit virtual network editor, I can see what virtual networks I have. Now, if, if this looks different to you, I, it, it might, this comes default with three different networks. And for some reason you can only see two until you click on this, this button here. Now I, I already did this, so it's, it's giving me access now, but you would click on that button and you get this, this pop-up window that says, Hey, do you, do you really want to let VMware do this? And this is because my host machine has user account control enabled. So if you have uh, an older version of Windows like Windows XP that doesn't have user account control, or if you have different settings, you may not need to do this step. Just gonna click yes. And for some reason, whenever I do that, I have to minimize my VM to find this window. So I have two adapters here, but because in the VM settings, remember we looked at VM settings, because there's only one network adapter here, that's why I only see one inside the VM. I'm gonna close that again and bring up the virtual network editor. My recommendation for anybody getting started is to just set up a bridged connection, and I'll talk about these in a second. Set up a bridged connection with whatever your physical port is. Don't let it be automatic because it never guesses right. Always tell it what to what to actually connect to. In this case, I have a, a Lenovo docking station. So that's, that's what this is. And I wanna show you how it connects to my local network. And that's why I have it connected to the docking station rather than my laptop's physical ethernet connection. So I'll just leave it there for now. Bridged is just like when, when we're talking about a virtual network, this is like having things like network switches and other things inside your laptop. So I plug in a physical ethernet cable to my host machine. And on the inside, I can pretend like I plugged that into a switch. And now I can plug virtual machines into that switch as well. And that's what Bridge does. It's like having, it's like having the virtual machine on that same network as your laptop, just like as if they were they were plugged into a switch together. So it gets its own IP address. It it communicates just like it's its own entity on the network. Another way we can do this, and there are times when we care to do this, is a host only connection. And this means that it's it's still like having that switch but instead of having that switch that plugs into an external physical network, now this is a switch that only has virtual machines and your host connected to it. And this is a way to share activations and doing do other things like that. The last thing I wanna mention here, and I, I generally don't use this, is, is called NAT. This is Network Address Translation. And it really just means that your virtual machine can piggyback on your host machine's IP address. So they can they can share that address as if they're the same computer as far as an IP address is concerned. And uh, like I say, I don't, I don't really use this, so I'm not gonna go into detail on it. So we're gonna go with bridge. Notice it went back to automatic. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it back to the Lenovo Giga Ethernet that I, that I know I'm plugged into. And I'm gonna click okay, I think I'm done here. Now, if I want to test this, first of all, notice it's it says it's unplugged. 
I know that this is plugged in. So that's that's one uh, that's one red flag. I'm also going to go to the command prompt, and this is another very common test: is if I type ip config, I hit enter. Notice it says it's disconnected; it doesn't have an IP address. If I look at, if I double click on that and double click on this, it does say, say that it should obtain an IP address automatically. If I were to set it up with an IP address, I might see an IP address down here. But I'm going to leave it automatic for now. Click OK, click OK. So why isn't this connected? We, we set up the virtual network. We have a, a network adapter. Now we have to go connect those two things. So if I come back to the VM and settings, My network adapter right now is set up for network address translation. Well, how did that work? I, I, I don't even have a, a virtual network that, that works that way. Well, it's complicated, but uh, the, the easy explanation is, okay, we set up those virtual networks. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to tell it exactly which virtual network to use. VM net zero, this is the one that we set up to be connected to my, my docking station, which has a uh, an Ethernet port on it. And if we come back, well, I'm going to have to say OK to this before I can go back to the virtual network editor. Come back to virtual network editor. That was VM net zero. OK, so notice it, now that now that I did that, it's connected. Ignore the firewall thing. I'll turn that off later. It's connected. And if I come back over here and I check its IP address, IP config 192.168.1.79 looks like it got an IP address and that's again for my local router here. So the last thing I want to mention when we're looking at virtual networks and having having a, a network adapter here for those virtual networks, it's got a very generic name right now and since I only have one it's not a big deal. But there are times when I want to have more than one ne network adapter and in those cases, I, it's it's very important to know which one is which, so that when I go to change my IP address for programming or whatever, I'm changing the right adapter. So I'm going to just give this a new name, and I'm going to call it a programming network. And this is in in my convention. This is always the one that I'm going to be changing when I'm trying to connect to a piece of industrial automation. Well. That's all I wanted to show you today. Go ahead and give that a try. Go ahead and break stuff because you can't break anything permanently. Remember to check the virtual network editor and connect it to the, the network adapter that's, that's in your virtual machine settings. And don't forget your basic Windows network troubleshooting because that's all still very relevant. Have fun.